Hello. One of the biggest and most frequent questions that I receive from viewers are how do you find the subject matter that you draw? And uh, when I say that, I don't mean like how do you find um, balloons, Lego, Lego men and, and such, which are the topics that I cover. But how do you find and decide upon what to draw? It's one of the biggest problems facing an artist in any medium. So I'm going to talk to you today about how to find subject matter that one, you want to draw, two, inspires you, and three, provides joy to others. Because to a large extent, those are all of the objectives which I seek when creating an artwork. So, if you could please subscribe, there will be many more videos, and also check out the ones I've already made. And these will cover, and do cover, all kinds of different subject matter, down to techniques, tips, hints, and talks such as this, where we, as a community, can help one another out with those questions that we face in making certain decisions as artists. So, what inspires me? Largely, most of my work has an element of nostalgia and certainly provokes and triggers emotions within the piece. So this has to be something which makes you have a response to what you're seeing. And I, I love that. I seek to create a warm, enjoyable experience for the audience. So here I've selected a Lego minifigure. Now, Lego itself can trigger all kinds of different emotions. Those of all kinds of different memories and experiences. So it's not just the visual element of what you're seeing, it's the memories that you had when you last held a Lego minifigure, be that as a kid or playing with your kids and all kinds of different times, you know, even down to your, your parents standing on a piece of Lego and hurting their foot. There'll be those kind of memories that are flow back when you see such a figure. So that's why initially I select Lego. But even amongst there, there are other decisions to be taken. You know, which Lego minifigure? So for me, this particular figure, not just due to the films uh, from Lego, which are fantastic, by the way, but also because this is a really iconic Lego minifigure from the very early space sets. Now, these have a place in many people's heart and a great sense of nostalgia. Often you'll find these figures passed down, you know, so they'll be obviously added to those Lego collections. But the, the Benny Miggy, Benny Miggy, bleh, Benny Miggy, I really can't say it. What a disaster. The Benny minifigure will probably be present somewhere or some element of him will be at least be it the helmet the backpack or that uh, famous torso piece with the sort of space insignia so that's why i selected this particular minifigure but the, there are so many that hold different elements of that that response that you're seeking in your audience. So, in short, what inspires me and makes me pick a particular piece to draw is that something that solicits an emotional and joyous response. Because for me, art is something which should have an emotion to it for the viewer. 
But it's also very important that you have an emotional response to the piece. Otherwise, I find that it's difficult to commit the time, energy, concentration that to to create a good piece is needed. Again, you may disagree with me, and if you do, that's wonderful. But do do put it in the comments, because I'd love to hear what inspires you and what motivates you in creating your artwork. And that will really help all of us. So please help me, help the community, help everybody that's looking at this video and this channel. Because we've all got to work together as artists in order to explore those questions that, that about what motivates us and why we create a particular piece and then we can turn to other subjects and other techniques and that really really will help us all expand our horizons so for me it's nostalgia at the moment that doesn't mean that if one of you guys make a comment that it won't provide a different avenue, a different course to take within my artistic practice. And that that's wonderful, you know, that we all need to explore these different avenues. But I think the common vein is that enthusiasm that we all have for a particular subject whilst we are creating the piece. And that comes across in the artwork itself. I mean, here, while I was drawing this, all those memories were triggered. All those wonderful moments playing with Lego, my poor mum standing on Lego pieces and, and managing to, to stifle, so <laughs> telling me off, you know. <laughs> um, all of that came out whilst creating the artwork. And if you've got that kind of emotional response to an artwork, the chances are there's many other people that have shared that same experience. And if you can solicit that in the audience, then you've got a really powerful drawing. So that's how I select my artwork. I look for nostalgia. I look for the emotional response in a particular piece. Even within that, you have to make other decisions, such as then what Lego minifigure, once I've settled on Lego, also what to include. It, the Benny minifigure was always famous for the chin strap breaking on the helmet. This is something that I didn't decide to include because I wanted it to be a pristine, sort of factory fresh version. But even that opens up other avenues for subjects. I could do one that has been passed down, has a broken chin strap and a faded um, chest insignia. There are all of these options to explore. So please leave in the comments anything that inspires you. It will help me, it will help you, and it will help everyone who watches this video. So, yep, leave your comments. Please, if you can subscribe to the channel, that would be wonderful. And let's all create and find these different avenues of art to explore. Thank you.